Mm. So simple, so good. Um, can I actually do a flat white? Yes, with oat milk, please. I don't know why that did the tongue thing. That's okay. Well, let's do that again. Hello there my beautiful friends. I hope you're having a fantastic day and welcome back to another video. We're starting this one off by going to the grocery store and stocking up for the week. So going grocery shopping is one of those things that is really, really difficult, especially if we don't know what we're making throughout the week. And for myself, I tend to get inspired when I'm in the grocery store. And if I see something that I don't really have a recipe off the top of my head for, what I'll do is do a little Pinterest search and Schroeder search, Pinterest search and see what I can find within the first like couple minutes of searching. If I'm standing there searching for too long, I give up and I move on and that's okay because we don't wanna waste hours and hours in the grocery store. But the theme for this video is to just take care of myself for a week, give myself yummy meals, nourish my body and get myself back on track because after traveling and you know, figuring out how to uproot my entire life across the country is just craziness. And I haven't had time to nourish my body in the way that I would like to, to thrive. Why won't you fall straight? I am truly trying my best here. You're gonna be crooked, that's fine. I have cereal, berries, a bowl, and a spoon, and milk with me. And I think I'm going to eat that in the car because I really wanna go get some sourdough bread. Oh, I just love sourdough bread so freaking much. Ah, and I want to return this big old blue water jug that I don't need anymore. Which means I'll technically get a free loaf of sourdough because when I return the jug, I'm gonna get $10 back and a sourdough bread is only $6. Happy days, happy days. Let's go get a bowl and a spoon. It is a cool thing to live out of your car and have everything you need with you at all the, t at all the times, at all the times, all the time. My mom used to exclusively buy, buy this when I was a kid and I used to hate her for it, but. I would like to wash these, but sometimes you just gotta live on the edge. Some blackberries. So cute how raspberries and blueberries just make everything look more aesthetically pleasing. You can have the ugliest piece of cake ever and you just put a raspberry on top of it and it's like a masterpiece. And the grand finale. If anyone's looking at me right now, they think I am a freaking weirdo and I'm all right with it. You guys have seen me make this recipe at least a few times already, and it is a favorite of mine. I don't know what it is. I came up with it one day, and I just truly, truly enjoyed it. We're starting off by warming up our garlic along with some pepper and some olive oil, splash of chili flakes, because you know your girl likes things a little bit spicy. I added my red Swiss chard to the pan along with some sun-dried tomatoes to add a little bit extra flavor. And then I topped some bread. I didn't toast this bread, by the way, because it is too fresh and delicious, delicious to toast. So I added some garlic tapenade and some Dijon mustard on it and then topped my bread off with my Swiss chard and sun-dried tomato mixture. I did add some balsamic vinegar while I was sauteing the Swiss chard and I love balsamic vinegar. It adds so much depth of flavor to anything that you add it to and it is just a must in my books. If you do not have a bottle of balsamic vinegar in your house, please go and get yourself one, okay? You need some balsamic vinegar for baking, 
baking, cooking, and you need balsamic vinegar for dipping bread in. There are a million balsamic vinegars out there and you need to treat yourself to some. So this evening I met up with some girly friends and we went out to eat. I have not seen my hometown girly friends in months because I've been on my wild woman crazy adventures over the last few months. And it was just so nice to see their faces and chat with them in person instead of over text or on the phone. And yeah, I just truly enjoyed my evening with my friends. I got this rice noodle bowl and drank a glass of wine. I made them make the rice noodle bowl a little bit spicier because I have had it before and it was not spicy enough for my liking. And my friends, you are allowed to ask a restaurant to make something to your liking. The server will not hate you for it. The kitchen will not hate you for it. Just get it made the way that you like it so you can truly enjoy it. So nothing new here, Julia making a mess in the kitchen as per always. I enjoyed my AG1. I absolutely love AG1. This video is not sponsored by them, but I highly recommend the product. It is just so good for you. And we all need a little extra boost sometimes. I then had some matcha, which is also one of my favorite products by matcha.com. I have not had matcha from matcha.com in so long because I ran out on my adventure and I haven't got it in the mail yet. I freaking missed matcha so much. <laughs> Oh, so good. Thank you, matcha.com. Okay, buying cereal is not something that I do. I think if you've been on this channel for a while, you would have never saw me have a box of cereal in my house. I'm always making granola or have granola in the house, whatever the case may be. And I have to say that I think, I'm pretty sure this is just something for me that I feel guilty about doing. I feel lazy if I just pour myself some cereal in a bowl. And I know this has something to do with my history of orthorexia and I'm getting over it. We're growing, we're changing, and we're buying things that we just want instead of think that we have to do by ourselves or whatever the case may be. Like I don't have to make granola at home. I can buy it and that's okay sometimes. I enjoy making granola and I will continue to do so, but I'm allowed to go to the grocery store and make my life a little bit easier sometimes. Anyways, for lunch, I'm making myself a big old bowl, nothing fancy here, massage some kale with some white balsamic vinegar and salt. And yes, I'm a weirdo that smelled my kimchi for some reason. I guess I wanted to make sure it was still okay. I don't know, <laughs> but I added some quinoa to my bowl, some shredded carrots, some shredded cabbage, and of course the kimchi that I smelled. Made myself a sauce with some soy sauce, maple syrup, garlic powder, and a little bit of juice from some pickled ginger and some toasted sesame oil as well. And once we got everything ready to go, I poured over my sauce. You know, had to make it an aesthetically pleasing moment with the beautiful down shot, all of the pretty colors. Oh, I added radish and um, sesame seeds to this as well. But you already know this, you can see, so yeah. I have been craving, craving spaghetti, a classic red sauce spaghetti. So I chopped up some onion very finely, minced up some garlic. We need lots of garlic and lots of onion. If we're gonna do this properly in my books anyways, we gotta have lots of garlic and onion, okay? It is just such a beautiful additive. It just adds such a beautiful flavor to red sauce and it's something that in my books you literally cannot pass up. I also decided to chop up some carrot pretty finely and dice up some mushroom for a little bit of meaty flavor as well. I got some olive oil in my pan and started off by sauteing all of the veggies that I just chopped up, including the garlic. I let everything sweat it out and needed some <laughs> balsamic vinegar and some bread. This sourdough bread is literally sent from the heavens. Sourdough bread in general is just sent from the freaking heavens and you have to enjoy it with some balsamic vinegar and some olive oil. It is just, mm, 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 mm. 
I seasoned my veggies with some salt, some pepper, added my plain red sauce, and a splash of balsamic vinegar. Depth of flavor, my friends, depth of flavor. I also added some rosemary, thyme, chili flakes. I have dried rosemary, and what I do is add it to my mortar and pestle and grind it up into a powder. So that way you're not getting like dried chunks of rosemary in your mouth. It's That's just not pleasant. Grind it up and it spreads evenly throughout the entire dish and adds such a beautiful flavor. I also added some red lentils to a bowl, let them sit in some hot water for a number of minutes until they were soft, added them to my sauce. I have some water boiling for my pasta, made up my pasta, and then gave it a good rinse. I typically use brown rice pasta just because having wheat products that aren't like high quality like sourdough bread i just find they don't make me feel as good but anyways i added my sauce to my pasta mixed it all in up in my bowl and enjoyed the lovely sound of like twirling pasta on a fork let me nourish the channel by saying a massive thank you to fabfitfun for sponsoring today's video and also sending me all of these goodies that i'm super excited to share with you over 1 million people love FabFitFun and I'm super happy that I am a part of that. Now, what is FabFitFun? FabFitFun is an amazing company. Say that three times fast. FabFitFun, FabFitFun, FabFitFun. It's an amazing company that helps you save on so many high quality products and brands. For instance, this winter box has a value of up to $300 and you're paying a fraction of that. So what they do is create a customizable seasonal box with full sized, beauty products, fashion, fitness, and home products. And one of those products could literally be worth more than the entire box. So you could buy the box and one of those things could be more than what you paid for the entirety of the box for all of the products. And I think that's really freaking cool and an amazing way to save on money, but I'll touch on that in just a second. This is really exciting because I honestly don't even remember what things I selected. So I feel like it is legitimately Christmas day right now. When you sign up, you'll have access to a member exclusive shop and flash sales throughout the year. So you're not just saving on say this one box or the seasonal boxes that you can get. You can save throughout the year on all of the products that you know and love. I've seen so many of these online and I could not pass up trying them out. Oh, they're so pretty. But one thing I absolutely love about FabFitFun and something I have to share with you guys is the fact that most of the products within the boxes and on their online shop are from female founded companies. And that just makes my heart so freaking happy. It, it does, it just, mm, I just think that's so important. I think we all need a toner in our lives and I couldn't pass up trying this rose tonic. Okay, I gotta smell it. Oh wow, it legitimately smells like roses, like not fake roses, like, like the actual smell of like a rosebud. Mmm, that smells really good. So when you go ahead and use my code, which is down in the description box, you'll get your first box for $49.99, which is a freaking steal for all of the products that you're gonna get in exchange for that. And like I mentioned before, if you went ahead to buy all of the products within the box individually, you'd be spending up to $300. Again, Steal in a freaking half, okay? <laughs> I think this could be an absolutely amazing gift idea for yourself this season, but you can also customize the box for yourself and also some loved ones as well. That way you got some holiday gift shopping out of the way, you save some money, and I know, I know, holiday season should not be about how much money you spend, but in this economy, I think we can all do well by saving some money, and I don't think anyone in our family or our friend group is going to be mad at us for spending less money and getting the exact same good quality, high quality, amazing products that we could spend full price on, but why? Why, you know? Saving money should not be at the cost of the quality of the products, so save some money and get the good quality products. And you can do both, you can do it all, with FabFitFun. <laughs> so like I mentioned, you can get your first box for $49.99 by using my code. So click the link down in my description box, use my code, save some money, get some amazing products. And I swear to you, you will not be upset in this holiday season. <laughs> Thank you so much FabFitFun for 
helping people save some money, providing good quality products, and also having a little bit of fun as well. I, I feel like unboxing this was legitimately like Christmas day. I already said this, Christmas day. <gasps> Nesting bowls, I forgot about that. I always love picking out products and then kind of forgetting about what I picked and then they show up and you're like, oh yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much FabFitFun and get yourself a box. Use my code, click the link guys and save yourself some money. And now let's get on to the video. So the next day I met up with my friend for some brunch. I got myself a flat white and a big sandwich a blt quote unquote it's a vegan blt obviously um and instead of bacon it's a tempeh bacon so delicious vegan mayo i love lots of vegan mayo on a blt so yeah truly in heaven here i got myself a side salad as well with a white vinaigrette mm. Once I got home, I enjoyed some chocolate because I was craving it. And I had some leftover salad hanging out in the fridge. So I just poured myself some of that in a bowl, made my life a little bit easier. And then a touch later, I was feeling something warm and cozy to drink, but obviously I wasn't gonna have coffee in like the middle of the afternoon. So I have this herbal tea coffee replacer. So I couldn't find all of the proper things to make it. So I made it in a jar and put it through a strainer and added some milk and we were all good to go. <laughs> For dinner this evening, we are making a variation of a recipe that's within my recipe book. And if you have not got my recipe book yet, the link is down in the description box. Get yourself a copy. But I do wanna say I've got so many emails of people not realizing that it's an ebook. Yes, it is an ebook. So you have to download it onto your computer or your phone. It's a PDF copy. However, it is printable if you want a physical copy. So you can print it on your own accord. But most of us view recipes on our phone or our computer anyways, because we Google them. And and I didn't see the point of chopping down more trees and printing all of these recipe books and mailing them to you. So you can get the recipes immediately as soon as you buy it. It's gonna be sent to your email address and you can start cooking right away. So for this one, I got some tofu and some cauliflower in my bowl. I seasoned it with some mustard powder, some onion powder, some garlic powder, and obviously some salt. I added a bunch of brown rice flour to it to make sure it crisp up nicely in the oven a good drizzle of olive oil and a few key ingredients that i forgot some nutritional yeast and a good sprinkle of chipotle once i mixed that all in up i got my pan set up added some parchment paper on it i typically don't cook with parchment paper but i do find use for it i used to never cook with parchment paper but it saves you the risk of all of the things sticking to the pan as that often happens to me and it's just it's not worth it it's not worth the struggle of trying to unstick things that are already stuck so parchment paper is the way to go and yes you can reuse it you can fold it up store it for later and reuse it save the earth one piece of parchment paper at a time <laughs> so we're making tacos. I don't think I said this yet. We're making tacos and we need some lettuce on top of our tacos. So I added some vegan mayo, some mustard and some apple cider vinegar, mix that all on up and set that aside. And after our crispy tofu and cauliflower is done, I added some red Frank's hot sauce, red Frank's hot sauce, Frank's red hot sauce. So you may be able to guess we're making a buffalo ranch style taco. It's such a simple, delicious and yummy recipe that I think most people will enjoy. Even if you're not a super big fan of tacos, you'll probably like this recipe. I'm having one of these days, you know, when the hair is up and greasy and disgusting and you got your favorite comfy sweater on and you got house shoes with socks that go up halfway your calf. That was good English and sweatpants so really living life now we got tacos so we're like actually living a good life today to be honest i'm listening to comedy podcasts puttering it's a good day it'd be so much better if these tortillas held up but you win some you lose some i guess mm. So simple, so good.
and stop looking in my eyes. For lunch today, I was feeling a big old nourish bowl and I look like a freaking art teacher in this clip. Like the outfit is so art teacher vibes and I am digging it. I'm digging it so freaking much. <laughs> Anyways, I got some spinach in my bowl along with some leftover tofu and cauliflower mixture. I didn't put Frank's red hot sauce on all of the mixture. I only put it on what I was using last night. I added some sauerkraut and a whole small avocado. And I also finally chopped up some red onion, added that to my bowl as well as you saw. And then I was digging some olives for whatever reason. So I threw some olives on there, some hemp seeds, a good drizzle of olive oil, high quality olive oil, some balsamic vinegar, some pepper, some salt, simple, delicious, whipped it up in like six minutes and so nourishing. A nourishing meal does not mean a lot of work. And I think that is very, very important to note my friends. So this evening we're making another variation of a recipe that's within my recipe book. I find eggplant is a vegetable that not a lot of people use, okay? It's not a vegetable that we sought after, seek, want, or crave. It is just there. The emoji has become something else. Oh, this onion. Oh my God. I haven't had an onion make me cry in so long. Oh my god, my eyes are falling apart. Ah, ah, everything's falling apart. Ah. Oh no. So we're gonna make this eggplant absolutely delicious, a miso eggplant recipe. I'm adding some extras to this dish just to kind of have some fun with it. And I also wanted to use some broccoli. I was craving some broccoli. So finally chopped up some onion, some carrots, some broccoli, including the stem. The stem is edible, guys. Don't just throw it out like as if it were nothing. How would you feel? How would you feel if you were just thrown out as if you were nothing? That's how the broccoli stem feels, okay? Use it, it's delicious, it's crunchy, it's yummy. Anyways, <laughs> I added some oil to my pot, added my eggplant. I kind of rubbed the oil all over the eggplant, added all of the veggies, and then I microplaned in a bunch of garlic and a bunch of ginger as well. I just find, find it easier to microplane instead of to mince every so often. I'm just feeling lazy, I don't feel like mincing, and that's totally okay. not do very good rinsing this rice. Ow! This recipe may look a little bit different than the one in the book because I decided to get some red miso paste instead of some white miso paste or yellow miso paste. Nonetheless, it's gonna taste the exact same. It's absolutely delicious and it doesn't matter what miso you use. You can use whatever miso paste you desire. I don't think I can eat all this. <laughs> Some nice bowl. Skeletons in the 
After our beautiful matcha in the morning, I got ready and was craving some French toast. Vegan French toast is delicious. It's fun to make and let's let's make it. I added half of a large banana into a bowl and mashed it up really, really well. So that way there's not big old chunks of banana. Very finely, I added a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of ginger powder along with some vanilla extract and some maple syrup as well and a splash of plant milk. I mixed that all on up and then once we were good to go, I brought that over to the pan, but I had to have a snack on the rest of the banana because we weren't going to waste it. I added some olive oil to the pan, but do it in vegan butter. I just didn't have any vegan butter in the house and it would taste so much better <laughs> with vegan butter, but use what you have, you know? Once the pan was nice and warm, I dipped my bread into the mixture and added it to the pan. Use a nonstick pan, my friends, okay? Oops. Oh no. I just had to pee. Well, I burnt my toast. Sometimes needing to pee is like the detriment of not only your life, but <laughs> your food as well. I'm the person that has to pee like 17 times within like the span of four hours because I just drink too much water. But you know, it is what it is, life, my friends. I topped off my French toast with some beautiful fresh berries, some figs, some raspberries, some blueberries, and drizzled it off with some, drizzled it off? Drizzled some maple syrup on it and enjoyed After my French toast moment, I was feeling kind of a lazy day in the kitchen and there is nothing wrong with that. I munched on some leftovers and then I decided to make this like pre-made like ramen, but I wanted to add a little bit of extras. So I sauteed up some mushrooms and some tofu and then I'm gonna add some broccoli to it as well. Once that got browned-ish, I added some red onion cause I just had some red onion laying in the house. And this is a plant-based, garlic chicken quote unquote ramen so thank you to Immy eats for sending it my way and making a cool product i got all my veggies in the pan i added the required amount of water plus a little bit extra just because of all of the veggies in there added the noodles and the flavor package and then try to get the noodles as far into the water <laughs> as i could and then covered it with a lid and let it do its thing I then also wanted to try this drink that this company sent me, Koso, Koso, case, Koso, Koso. It's a Japanese like fermented vegetable syrup. And I just tried it with water, but it's so much better with a Perrier, a sparkling water. <laughs> but I just really wanted to try it. I didn't have any sparkling water in the house. It's intense in flavor, but it's so absolutely delicious for you. And I do, I, I don't know, I recommend it. It's, it's very good for you. I added some soy sauce and some goju garo spice to my soup because you know your girl likes to spice things up. That's just who I am. Soup is like giving you a facial. It's a bonus. Self-care. That's what soup is. You can get a facial, you can get something yummy and warming in your belly. Soup is self-care. <gasps> self-care soup. That should be like a name of a company self-care soup i'm putting tm on that 